Hi, this is Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com. I'm here today with Nikki Milovic, co-owner of a hot new art gallery called Milovic Hakimi, located right here in New York City. Hi, Nikki. Tell us about your gallery. Well, it's located at 41 Cooper Square. It's awesome. It's um, a contemporary gallery. Everybody is like a young emerging artist um, or some mid-career, but, you know, nobody's uber famous yet. That's my job to make them that way. And um, you should come look at it. It's very nice. Definitely. I've already been. It's amazing. Nikki, how do you choose your artists? Well, um, I do... Like over the summer, I did a series of like 90 studio visits, um, me and my partner, and um, searching online endlessly for stuff until you figure out like what fits your um, vision, like what you're actually seeing for a particular show. What was your vision for this particular show? This show was like, it was originally one, two, three, four, I declare a color war. It was like about bold stuff that pops, like. Like my lipstick today? Like your lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I like like, crazy adventurous stuff. Crazy adventurous is very good. We like that too. Tell us about your partner. Uh, her name's Karen Akimi. Um, she's awesome and beautiful and gorgeous. Uh, no, but she's, she is very, very cool. Um, I, I met her uh, about two years ago. Like her so much, we became business partners and she has a great eye for art. Nice. Nikki, tell us about your background. How did you get into art? Basically, I, I did studio art in my undergrad and then I wasn't very good at that and I took a bunch of I was, I'm a failed artist. And You're so, really good. What are you talking about? I saw your work. But, you know, like, I didn't... It's work, though. I don't want it to be work. I want it to be, like, a fun thing I do, like, you know, when I'm bored. But, um... I don't know, basically I got into art history, studied art history at the last minute, and I did, um, I worked in a museum, worked in an auction house, worked at galleries, like, worked, 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 and then I went to get my master's at Sotheby's Institute of Art in uh, London, which was so much fun. <laughs> it was really cool. That's how I got into art, and then, like, and then I moved back to New York, because my visa got declined, and I couldn't really stay in London, and, uh, <laughs> that is another story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge story, and, uh, so then I came to New York and I hit the ground running. This is the third gallery you're opening in a matter of how many years? Two. Ha. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but this one's going to be permanent and awesome and it's going to be the bomb. It is the bomb. New, <laughs> New York Times already wrote about they this did. gallery. Yesterday. So, Nikki, tell us, if somebody on Wall Street wanted to get into art as an alternative asset, what would be your advice to them? Just like with any, with any, um, asset you have to actually be sort of informed about it you can't just be like oh yeah i'll buy that and that and that and just for sheer investment purposes because that's not really going to get you anywhere like in fact the idea of like a, an art fund i think is flawed and that you can't simply invest in art with the notion that it's going to go up because it depends on a lot of factors that you don't know like find something that you love that you would want to live with focus and pay attention to the artist resume they like what they've been in and like focus see if they have any like minor museum collections who else is collecting them what exhibition they've done, what their education is. I'm not saying that the artist has to be educated, but at the same time, it shows that they've jumped through hoops. It shows that they probably will be an artist when they're 30 and when they're 80 years old. And like, that's very important for the value of your work continuing to go up. And also like, don't like buy art from like, I don't know, like some crazy pothead on the side of the street. Like, you know, you like try to, I mean, I mean, you can, if it's awesome, you want to put it in your apartment, but I'm just saying like, you know, try to, uh, make sure that um, you know who you're buying it from and who whose work it is. And then I think it will get you some money at some point in time. Mm. Hopefully. We like money. We do. Nikki, yeah, thank you big. so much for this valuable insight. And if you on Wall Street want to bring some color to these bleak economic times, go visit Milovic Hakimi Gallery located on 41 Cooper Square or visit their website at milovichakimi.com. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more interesting interviews and hot financial news.